Hey, this is Danny, you and me living free, and I am in Whitefish, Montana today, just doing a little exploring. I have been at Hungry Horse Reservoir for a while and came out to town today and um, thought I would do just a short video on Whitefish. There's a great big lake here. Seems like a great little town, a little bit of a touristy area, um, plus um, grocery store and everything that you need, plus this great little city beach right here, which is free. I'll show a video of that so just a few minutes of video around Whitefish Montana and um, I hope you like it so here's a little slow-mo driving through town just a couple of blocks I had to slow it down because I only took like 12 seconds worth of footage <laughs> of downtown it is very cute the downtown is very small but it does remind you of like a little tiny Durango tiny uh, Jackson Hole and maybe even more similarly like uh, Salida, Colorado where I just was because there are mountains all around. Also, we are not that far from Glacier National Park. My camping spot at Hungry Horse Reservoir, which I did another video on that. If you missed it, go back and get it. It was the best free camping spot I've ever seen. But anyway, that was only an hour or even less from Glacier. And then this is probably another 30 or 40 minutes. But if you're going to Glacier, this is something to think about kind of maybe on your way there or on the way back either way. Um, just a great little town, a lot of fun, a little foot traffic in there. We've got the shops and the restaurants and, and things like that. So really something for everyone. Here was their little traffic jam. It only took me a couple of minutes to get through. Here's the best part of the town, though. This is Whitefish City Beach Park. And no, there are no dogs allowed for my friends with dogs who are always asking me. So I try to remember. Also, you know, like most beaches, not very handicap accessible. But here's, a, here's the city beach. Now, this is completely free. And parking for the city beach was also free, which I appreciate a lot. And this was a Sunday afternoon in August. And you can see it is not overcrowded or anything. There's plenty of room. Over here to the left, there are boat ramps and things. So, you know, bring your boat, bring whatever you've got. Here, you can kind of see if you look in the middle of the picture, the red building, the red wooden building there. There's There are concessions and a little restaurant. There are bathrooms. And then if you keep going further, I didn't get a picture, but if you keep going further, there are a bunch of picnic tables. There's some green grass and a bunch of shade. And so really just a wonderfully well-planned, well-thought-out uh, city park with great beach and great accessibility. So, so let's put it in the category of highly recommend. And then this is just us driving down a beautiful Montana state highway. Uh, it is simply just a gorgeous state. And before I had all this time to travel, I never went to Montana. It was too far of a drive. But I'm telling you, if anybody gets to this area, you you may not want to leave. That's my only warning for you. Editing this video just makes me almost sad. It makes me want to go back. I have little tears in my eyes. <laughs> oh, what an amazing place Montana is. Uh, there are just a few places I have traveled in this year, almost a year and a half now, that really I just left a piece of my heart that will always hold a piece of my heart, and this is one of them. And you know who else holds a piece of my heart? You. <laughs> and also my patrons, special thanks to you, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and put that full little drive. It's about a 45-second video of just that drive coming into Hungry Horse Reservoir, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, sending you a ton of love. I'll see you next time.